Hello everybody, welcome to a new video from Elastic Course. In this video I will show you a quick way to run DNS over HTTPS using PyHole on Docker and also using Cloudflare DNS over HTTPS service. Now the problem we are having with DNS in general is that DNS is unprotected protocol, meaning everything in a DNS request or DNS response is always in clear text. That means anybody in the middle between you and the DNS server can see which websites you are trying to access using the DNS packets. So for today's video we're gonna use PyHole as before to block advertisement, trackers, everything on a DNS level and we're gonna combine it with Cloudflare service to use HTTPS over DNS. Now I'm on Windows and I'm using Docker Engine it is version with the images management from the GUI. Now I want to try to show you in the beginning what the DNS looks like without the encryption and then we're going to try to implement DNS over HTTPS. I'll go back and refer to my older script on GitHub to deploy by whole on Windows. I'm just going to use this custom script right here. So as you see this is docker run, detach mode, name by whole. This is my IP address for this machine, 172.20.0.20. This is just a web password to access the GUI. And our first DNS is localhost. This is a backup DNS for quad ones and also a third one just in case. Now for our board assignment, this is board 8080 to access the GUI. Board 53, that's for DNS. And also board 443 is required for PyHole. And the last statement, restart unless stopped, that means it will restart the container every time it stops or crashes. This is using Byhole latest image. I want to copy this, go into my PowerShell, and I'm just going to run the command right here in PowerShell. You see, now I have a container for Byhole. Let's look into here, I see now the Byhole container is running. So now let's open the browser and let's try to verify 172.20.0.20 port 8080. As you see now PyHole is running with the default configuration. I'm going to log in, in here and I'm going to use the same GUI password. Now as you see inside, inside the settings, over in the DNS tab, you can see in here I'm using Cloudflare quad ones. This is the DNS server and this is not encrypted. We can verify this by running something like Wireshark and I'm gonna start capturing on my Ethernet board. I'm just gonna search for DNS. And as you see already there are some requests that are coming from the Windows or from the application that are running. This is what anybody in the middle between you and the DNS server can see. You'll see that you're trying to access this windowsupdate.com, google.com, everything you are requesting a DNS resolution for anybody in the middle can see. Using DNS over HTTPS takes advantage of HTTPS encryption and combine it with DNS resolution using a DNS proxy. So the way we're going to install this pretty easily is using a separate container for the Cloudflare HTTPS service. And the way we're going to run these containers together is using my favorite tool Docker Compose. So now let's take a look at the alternative script. There are multiple services we are running. The first service is called Cloudflare Daemon, which is the service that proxy our DNS request over HTTPS, meaning that it establish HTTPS connection to quad ones, the Cloudflare service, and translate that back to a DNS style answer to our pie hole. Now this is running a custom image. This is not the official Cloudflare image. This one is from Visibility Spots Rebo. And this one runs very smoothly, very nice. And finally, restart unless stop, meaning this container will be restarted in case of a crash or if the computer or the host machine has been restarted. Now, this is also using IP address 10.0.0.2. Now, where does that come from? This is just a small network we are creating of type bridge. The slash 29 so there are only a small amount of IP can be used and the reason why we created this bridge network it will allow our Cloudflare service and Byhole service to talk to each other inside this network using the IP address. If you use the default bridge network 
you have to have some links in between the containers to allow them to talk to each other. And in this case, Byhole is really offloading this DNS traffic to 10.0.0.2 on board 5054. So this is the default listening board for this image. And it's sending the traffic to the Cloudflare. Cloudflare will proxy this DNS request to the Cloudflare service online over HTTPS with encryption. And finally, the buy hole will show us the result as a client. Now, in this case, I'm also assigning IP address for buy hole 10.0.0.3. We define the network in the end and we define the volumes. And the volumes will allow us to have this buy hole configuration and the DNS server configuration persistent over Docker updates or the container updates or restarts. Our data will not be lost. And this infrastructure as code utility is amazing because it allowed us to run all these services, pass all these environment variables, create an admin password, just over a few lines of text. So now I save this file and we're just gonna switch to PowerShell. Using Docker Compose is very easy. Right now I'm in the desktop. So this is the same directory where the YAML file for the configuration is located. Just use the dash F flag Define the py.yaml file name and finally say up to start the container or the group of containers down to bring it down after dash d to make it detach so that you don't have to see the out button here. So as you see, network was created, Cloudflare was created, by hole was created. Now let's take a look at Docker. See in here the stack icon. Inside of it, there is the Cloudflare daemon. You see in here this service is running on board 5054 and it's sending the traffic to https 1.1.1.1 dns query so this is very interesting because https usually is not used with just plain ip address usually have a host name since this is dns the email will work this way now the other container is our pi hole itself listening on board 53 everything looks smooth Let's go back to check our IP address 172.20.0.20 port 8080. Go into the admin panel. This is our new DNS server for Byhole. Login first. Now here is the magic. You notice queries answer by in this case. We either have a block list. So this is static blocking using the block list we have or the add list we have on Byhole. There's a cache and the actual queries is not answered directly by public dns it's actually showing cloudflare the desktop by hole so to verify even further it's open wireshark try to see how the traffic looks now capture on all interfaces just search for dns traffic now if you notice all dns traffic is sent in clear text sent only locally so this is 172.20.0.20 this is our IP address. The queries will still look unencrypted in here, but you don't see anything sent to quad ones directly. So now let's change our filter to IP address quad ones. This is Cloudflare directly. Just want to see what's happening. And suddenly everything is now showing 443. Now that means anybody outside your network is not able to see what are you requesting. Everything is sent over encrypted protocol and if someone tried to look into this packet this is what you will be able to see follow tcp stream you'll just see this gibberish but you can see any resolution queries you're sending and this is the power of dns over https so now if we take a look at the firewall logs just to double verify you'll see just before the older container was teared down everything was sent over dns port 53 in clear text Right now everything is sent over board 443 there's no more any clients sending dns traffic over board 53 this way we were able to achieve dns over https using cloudflare daemon and pi container on windows thank you for watching